arts means business overseas and also here in the Sunshine State. Arts are by no means a frill. Recent figures reveal arts to be an important economic driver as conventions and exhibitions. According to Virgin Australia's latest figures, 50% of recent international visitors attend cultural or heritage, heritage activities and Virgin are going to expand promoting Australia as a cultural destination. Queensland is experiencing the highest growth rate in the arts in Australia by 7% and underrepresented by its lack of facilities. 80% of residents attend cultural activities, double that of sport at 40%. Without arts, we are not building rounded communities and ignoring the fabric and soul of our society. Arts build social capital. Arts improve the economy. Arts are good for the individual's health and well-being. The most vibrant cities in the world are those centred round an active cultural scene. A cultural heart acts as a magnet, enticing quality investment and attracting the best young minds to live and work in these vibrant communities. If we are to thrive and mature as a whole society, this project must be a, a priority. Creative industries are driving today's economy and are resilient in times of economic downturn. Art is the key component to our solution for economic recovery. Arts and Prosperity Study 4, the most updated comprehensive art study in America show how, during the worst economic crisis in 2010 and similar in the United Kingdom, that arts remained robust, producing $132.2 billion of economic activity, $61.1 billion by the nation's non-profit arts and cultural organisations, an additional $74.1 billion in event-related expenditures by their audiences. The economic activity supported 4.13 million full-time jobs, created $86.68 billion in resident household income, produced $23.3 billion revenue to local, state and federal governments, $23.3 billion revenue to a yield far beyond the collective $4 billion in arts allocations. The findings from Arts and Economic Prosperity send a clear and welcome message Leaders who care about their community and economic development can feel good about choosing to invest in the arts. The ACE project is not only a social imperative, but an economic necessity. Our local TAFE colleges, group training company and the university are amid the region's top employers. In 2010, collectively worth $800 million to this community. Once established, these infrastructures become an ecosystem drawing more investment to benefit the community. Example, the recent announcement by the Premier of the $2.3 billion university hospital opening in 2016 and TAFE constructing another multi-million dollar campus at Kiwana. Fantastic projects and I commend these initiatives. Minimal subsidy for the first three years, as Michael said before, under professional management, the ACE will become a profitable economic driver for the region. The Sunshine Coast is currently referred to the dead centre of Queensland, and that is neither sexy, luring or acceptable. I discovered when reading last week the front page of the Cairns Tourism website, Kelly, 29, moved from Noosa with her children and husband, quote added, I prefer it up here. It's great that everything's within 15 minutes drive. It's a lot better than where we came from. Don't tell Noosa. No more dithering. Let's ride the rush of economic recovery beckoning at our door. We have a great destination. We have a ready clientele. We have a fantastic business and tourist opportunity and attractions and a well-established art and sporting scene. All we need, are you listening, Mel? All we need is the collective political will to drive forward this much delayed ACE project. I close with the remarks by Kevin Spacey at the United Kingdom 
Economy Conference. The creative industries lead the UK economy. They constitute one of the nation's most powerful resources. Let us shout louder to make sure those in positions of power and influence realise their value to the economy as well as to our collective soul. The question is not, what can the economy do for the arts? But, what can the arts do for our economy? The answer, a good deal.